do it. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. We got a really great PS2 tutorial today. I recently installed a Modbo 5.0 mod chip in my PS2 Slim, and this also applies for PS2 FAT users as well using the same chip. And I'm going to show you how to have the mod chip boot off your USB thumb drive so you can run you know, selected apps of your choosing. So the magic happens is you need a system folder with a bunch of different configuration files in there. I found a file online, so go ahead. In the video description, I have a link to it. Once you have it, go ahead, download it to your desktop, for example, and extract it. You, it will create a folder called system. Inside the system folder, you're gonna have a bunch of files in here. Basically, they're different icon um, image files for the app in question. So you can have four apps that shows on the main screen of the homebrew uh, mod chip menu, basically. So you'll see what that looks like later in the video tutorial. But here, for example, you got the OPL, HDL, ULE, and then also the basic PS2 browser icon. And if you're tech savvy with Photoshop, if you want to, you can edit these icons and change it to however you want. And there's also a desktop background too, the wallpaper for the mod menu, and you'll see it in a second here. Okay, next thing that's inside the folder are a bunch of ELF files. So you can go ahead, swap them out with the latest ELF file that you want for your particular program. So if you want to update to the latest you launch ELF or latest open PS2 loader or whatever, go ahead, dump those into this folder here. And then what you want to do is go into the config.txt or text file and edit this stuff as appropriate. So like for example, here we have ELF, um, the app one, L file is open PS2 loader, and here's the, the text that will show on the TV screen. And then here you have HDL, you launch out, and then OSD Sys or the PS2 system browser. So I'm not going to mess with this today, but if you want to, if you want to change this around, maybe you're big into emulators or, you know, I don't know, whatever, you can go ahead, edit the config file, update your ELF files, update your image files as needed, and then you're good to go. So once you've done all that modifications or not, just leave it at default. You can just go ahead, take that system folder, copy it, and then go into your USB thumb drive and just paste it in the root of your USB thumb drive or, or your USB hard drive. And it must be FAT32 formatted before you do the copy of the system folder. After that's done, go ahead and eject your thumb drive. And then you're good to go. So in the next portion of the video tutorial, I'll show you how to use the mod chip and how does uh, menu pops up. It's pretty cool. Let's do this. Okay, so this next portion of the video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Modbo 5.0, load the files off the USB thumb drive or USB hard drive, and get ready for a lot of good time. So let's go ahead, go back to my TV here. And then what you want to do is when you turn on the PS2, just make sure you press triangle and circle. So let's do that. Once you get to this screen, just make sure down under boot mode, it says mass. Originally, it might say auto, so just make sure it says mass. Press start to save, and then press the power button once to reset the PS2. And now what it will do is it's going to go into this boot menu and then load the system files off the USB thumb drive or USB hard drive. Awesome, great. So now we have the four apps. Just like I said earlier, you have OPL. HDL, ULE, and the PS2 browser. If you're tech savvy enough, you can change the icons, change the background, change your apps, change the text at the bottom, at the bottom, do whatever you want to customize it as your own. But for today, I'm just gonna use the default files here. So let's say I'm in the mood for OPL, let's do that. And this is probably about 99% of the gamers I would think out there, they, you, they probably wanna use OPL as my guess here. So what I'm gonna do is, just the way you use OPL, same method as if you're using Free McBoot on a FAT or a Slim PS2. The Mod Chip Modbo 5.0 is a great solution for PS2 Slim users who are, let's say, um, the 9000 series because you cannot use Free McBoot on those models. However, you can use the Mod Chip 5.0, the Modbo 5.0, excuse me, and then boot that the ELF files off USB. So it's almost like Free McBoot, but not really because you're doing it through a Mod Chip. Pretty cool. So now let's go ahead. Here's my games. Let's pick this particular game off the Ethernet, and now I'm just playing as normal. So the Modbo 5.0 is a good solution for those who are um, looking to have more fun, so to speak, with your PS2. I do want to caution you that it does take a lot of time to solder, uh, depending on your skill level. And if you're um, not good at it, you might possibly damage your PS2 in the process. So 
Only undertake the project if you are confident in your soldering skills. Otherwise, get an older PS2 that can run Freemic Boot or Free HDB for the fat PS2, or have someone else do the install for you if you trust them, you know, with your console, of course. But that is today's video game tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.